Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today's GC is on the Yubatre Sumitoriola, which is probably called Queen Latifah, and the actor Akim Adeyemi, which is probably called Sugar Boy. Yumitoriola is one of the vibrant actresses in the Yuba sector of Nollywood, and recently we heard of the collapse of her marriage. In fact, it was her husband, her ex-husband now, that had come out to open up about the breakdown of their union. He had stated that their union was filled with violence, deceit and betrayal. Describing his marriage as a total regret, he accused the actress of assaulting his mother. But speaking in her defense, Akim narrated how Mitola gave a hole in the marriage and endured torture from her husband. He said that the actress was the one financing the marriage as she took care of the responsibilities in the home, including their wedding. At the end, he added that the actress's ex-husband was only trying to tarnish Wumi's image, as his mother still calls Wumi frequently. He revealed that he was not only torturing her mentally, but he was having extramarital affairs as well. And he said Wumi Tola is not a violent person. She gave her all in that marriage, but it didn't work out as expected. She was a maga in the marriage. Ayo, her ex, is so manipulative and is lying to his new woman just to tarnish from his image. The mother-in-law he claimed Umi beat still calls her till today. Umi funded 90% of their wedding. When Ayo, her ex, was terribly sick and needed money for surgery, Umi paid 80% of it. When he had no job, Umi was taking care of the finances in the home without complaining. Yet, this guy was having extramarital affairs and he gave her a mental torture. When she went to deliver their baby in America, Aya never called her to check on her. How many women can accept this? Well, this was what he shared on social media platforms to open up about what had been happening behind the scenes in spite of the guy coming out to share his, his own side of the story and to clear the head that Umi was not what the man had described. In fact, their gist first popped up on Gist Lover's blog when a woman was asking to clarify whom Ayo was, as Ayo had claimed to the woman that his wife was dead. And now, these two are warming the hearts of their fans on social media platforms. Akim and Wumi have been maintaining a friendship. Of course, we've seen actors becoming best friends behind the scenes. However, um, male-female friendship is kind of rare. The last set that we saw was that of Latifa Didimiji and the actress Bimu Ibadi, whom also ended up getting married. The two had claimed that they were each other's best friends, and Akim is also stating that Omi is his best friend. In fact, in his last birthday message to her, he had said that you are the one friend everyone needs in their life. I cherish you a lot. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. Thanks for making friendship fun and easy. Thanks for always having my back. Thank you for your loyalty. Thanks for staying true by me. Thanks for inspiring me always. You deserve to be celebrated always. Everyone will bend to all your wishes now and always. Love you genuinely, my own Anarita. And now, in celebration of um, this love season, well, Akim had shared a short video clip where he gifted with me something special for the lover's day. And when we could be heard saying, thank you so much, or when we broke her door, and she was all appreciative in this short clip. And lots of their fans are reacting to this. Many people are praying for a friend like Akim at DME who will stay true, stand by you, even through the tough times. And some people are saying you should confess. Confess his love for Mitoyola because the two of them are made for each other. Other people are saying that he's always protecting her and they love them both. These are some of the reactions on Nigerians. I am Cherry. Thanks for making her to me happy. You have been a backbone to her. Love you for that. She come and do that for me too. Olani Nyon rather insulted them and said, I'm already son. Flaky, just confess your love to her. You guys are made for each other. Zokia, I keep is always protecting her. I love you boots. Is he what? If you watch this video more than once, gather here. Let's laugh together. I joke, this guy can marry with me. I'll be so happy. Fair on me is always protecting her. 
Adumbari, I love your friendship. And Becca Official, I love you both. So, mainly, people are commenting, encouraging their friendships, saying that they might end up together, things are looking all good on this side and all that. Well, one thing is for sure, these two always look genuinely happy when they are with each other. For those who are asking about Akim Adeyemi's woman, up until those moments, this actor has not come out to say anything about his personal life or even flaunted the woman on his official social media platform. It's always about his work. And sometimes that he spent with Mito Viola, he shares this on his official social media platform. His son is Akim Adeni Adeyemi. He was born on April 12th, though his year of birth is not known. He's from Ijebu, in Ogo State. He attended Remus Kondi School in Shagam, Ogo State. He studied business administration at Kwara State Polytechnic in Ilori. And he holds his certification from Chata Institute of personal management and for those who ask about Akim's woman he says that he's going to settle down when the time is right he believes in the perfect timing it is not hard to find the right person just about the perfect timing he's one of the bachelors in the industry and for Wumi Toriola, Wumi Toriola is one of the fast rising actresses in the Yoba sector of Nollywood she is also from Ogun State just like Akim she studied linguistics at the University of Illinois and also has a diploma in theater arts from Odunfa Kakos. Her acting career began when she first featured the movie Isheshi Lagba, which was produced by Tawa Adishifini. This actress rose to fame after starring in the movie Iwakiwa. She also starred in more than 50 movies after then, including Ashewo by Sonia Ali, Ojo Idajo, Gongwa So by Yinka Kodri, Anu Obi, Yami, Enyowo, Itobiri, among others. She got married to her broad-based husband on May 13, 2018, which had top actors in attendance like Midi Martins, Odunadi Adikola, Fausa Balugo. She welcomed her first child, the baby boy, in the USA. Umi had been able to carve a niche for herself in this industry. Just like Tony Hebram and Funka Kindili Bilu, several awards, including the award for the most promising act at the Elite Awards. And we are coming to the end of this episode. There are some fans that are reacting to this gesture of Akim at DM. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.